Well, let me do this integral by two methods. Uh, well, before the, before that, <clears throat> let's recall something. Uh, we, the derivative, the derivative of uh, a to x with respect to x is uh, ax and the log a, natural log a. So that is a basic formula. And you must be familiar, or you can derive by yourself. You know, use log, natural log to derive this formula. Uh, from this, we can see that the integral, integrate, well, if the integral of a to x dx will be equal to uh, a to x over log a, right? That, uh, that's simply from uh, uh, that uh, from that derivative. Okay, the, now let's come back to this in, <coughs> this integral. Method one. <coughs> Method one is that I I, I s split this integral into two. One is uh, x cubed dx log x from zero to one plus no minus from zero to one x square dx over d log x. <clears throat> then uh, <clears throat> I'm uh, I'm using Feynman's trick that let <clears throat> i over k <clears throat> is equal to is uh, from zero to one x to k and uh, dx log x. So I create a, a, a new function, which is the, this integral. Then my my i my my integral i is simply i of three minus i of two, right? According to this. Definition of I K. Now, uh, then, uh, then we take the partial partial derivative of I K with respect to K. So this one, in this, in this case, uh, K is a variable. X is just constant, and. Uh, k to x to power of k, the derivative with respect to k is like this. Well, it's equal to x to k and the log x, because x is a constant, over log x and the dx. So this means if from 0 to 1, x to the power of k, the dx. That one can be done easily, right? x to the k plus 1, k plus 1, from 0 to 1. So that end up with the 1 over k plus 1. Yeah, from that, we can find a i over k. Simply means integrate, right? Integrate this one. Integral from uh, k plus 1. So this one is equal to log k plus 1 plus c. Well, then we can find a c by... Uh, 
but I put k equal to zero, right? And this equal to if k equal to zero, that will be one, right? Zero to one dx over log x. Well, we we could find i over zero, but here we don't we don't necessarily have to. Well, when k equals to zero, this is zero, so this is c, right? So we can we we are able to find uh, c, but here we don't have to because. Uh, i is equal to i over 3 minus i over 2, then this will be equal to log 4 plus c minus log over 3 minus plus c. So c is cancelled out. So this is log 4 over 3. That is the answer for our for our integral L let me write it big log of 4 over 3 that is the answer of our integral by method 1 in which we are using the Feynman trick okay now method 2 Method two, uh, we are using this way. Okay, the, the integral i from zero to one x cubed minus x square log x dx. This one, it looks like this. It looks like from zero to one log x x to the power of a t, t from 2 to t equal to 3. Well, this is the integral of that. This is the integral of that. So this one is equal to integral of that x to the power of t dt and the dx, right? This, see, is equal to that. So this becomes a, a double integral from 0 to 1, 0 to 3, x to the power of a t, and a dt dx. Well, in this double integral, we can switch the order. Well, we can do, we can do x first. We do two t later x to power t dx dt. Okay, if you're familiar with the double integral, that we can do this. Then this one is equal to from zero to three. This this is easy. This will be equal to x t plus 1, t plus 1, right? t from 0 to 1, then do t. So this one equal to 0 to 3, uh, 1 and minus 0, it's is t plus 1, dt, right? Yeah, this one is equal to uh log t plus one from zero to three two to three yeah 
Where is this? This is two, right? Ah, this is two. I'm sorry. So this is equal to log four minus log three is equal to log four over three. See, we get the same answer by using the double integral. Excuse me, I'm missing right. It's from two to three. From two to three. From two to three. Okay. Thank you for your watching.